Okay, hey guys, Classic Ali here, back with another video. This time it's going to be a tutorial on a previous video I made. Um, I was playing remote play on for, for the PS4 on my Nexus 7 uh, 2013 model, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay, first thing you need to know is your Nexus has to be rooted in order to do this. So let's get straight into it. I'm going to leave a uh, link in the description so you can download this this folder here. It's a remote play folder. And these are all the files you need in order to make the remote play work on your Nexus 7. So let's get straight into it. So I'm on my Mac and you just need to transfer these files into your Nexus 7. You don't really need to use your computer, you could download it from your Nexus 7 directly onto your device. So I'm just going to copy this and drag it in here. And that's pretty much all you need to do with the computer. So I'm just going to close this and let's jump on to my uh, Nexus 7. Okay, so let's get started. First thing you need to do is go to the Play Store. You need to download... Um, you need to download an app called File Manager. It's the first one here, this one. Just click Install, Accept. Let that install. Um, just click on that file manager and if you scroll down you can see the files that we copied in earlier so this one we have six files the dot jars two of them two xml files uh, one dx file and one apk first thing you want to do is um you want to highlight the apk one you want to copy it and on the top you can see we've got paste home and up and multi those are the four functions we're going to be using mainly so if you go up 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 go all the way to the root by pressing up and then you want to go to system and unfortunately you can't paste it right now oh wait sorry if you, you as you can see it's kind of grayed out so what you want to do is go to the end of the toolbar on the top click on settings go straight to the bottom and remember you need to be rooted for this click on root explorer then super su will ask for your permission blah 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 grant it click on mount system folders as well go back now as you can see the paste is available so we're in system at the moment so let me just go back to the root real quick make sure you click on system paste it into system there and it should be on the bottom now what you want to do is hold down it click on permissions and here what you want to do is click on others read and uncheck that one there so your layout should look like that click ok and the icon would change highlight this again you want to move you want to take it to app you want to paste it in there and it should be there remember the permissions need to be just like this here <coughs> okay so let's go back to home so we're now we're with the other files here. So we've moved the APK. Now let's move the DEX file. So I'll highlight that. Copy it. Um, click on up, up, up. Back to the root folder. And this one is going. Where is this one going? This is going in data. Yep. Data. Dalvik cache. And paste it in there. Now you want, you just want to look for it the file that you just pasted in so this one here go permissions and it's going to be the same as the apk just like that click ok go back to home now what you want to do is you want to copy the two xml files so click on multi on the top <coughs> this will just allow you to highlight two at the same time so xml and dot xml so the com playstation playstation certified and remote play uh, identify xml both of those copy those go back 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 into the root and these are going into system <coughs> frameworks these are going in no no sorry system etc and permissions so yeah you just want to paste them in there now look for them so they're right here so just highlight the first one Permissions, same thing. Okay, and one leave it. Remote play permissions. 
do the exact same thing. So all reads, just one write. The owner right? that's it. Okay, go back to home. So right now we've done the APKs, we've done the DXE and the XMLs. Now it's time for the uh, Java files. So what you need to do is click on multi again, highlight the dot jars, copy those, go back to the root folder. These are going into system frameworks. I think, yeah, yeah, that's where they're going. Okay, just paste them in there. Now, again, look for them. There they are. Permissions, read, uncheck that. Same thing with this. Permissions, check all the reads, just one write. Okay. Now, now let's see where we are. We should be. Um, okay, yeah, we should be done here. Just click out of that. What you want to do now is reboot the system. Reboot it. So turn it off and turn it back on again. So I'll be back when I do that. Okay, so I just rebooted the device. I started off again. Just go to the Play Store real quick. Okay, it says my internet connection is gone, but that's a lie. Okay, alright, that's fine. So just type in PS app click search and you want to download this one here the PlayStation app just download that accept and let it download shouldn't take long it's only three megabytes let it install once it installed you can open it once just let it boot up okay there we go uh, you don't need to sign in just close out of that close out of that as well what we want to do now is Okay, so we've got the app here. What you need to do now is go to your file manager, go back to the root, right to the root, and go to system. You want to go to what do we need to go? We need to go app, and we need to click on the remember the first APK file that we um, moved into this folder. Just click on the click on that the PlayStation Remote Play APK and install it. let it install okay so it's done click okay go back now what we need to now we can do we can go ahead and see if this works okay so you'll get this error message saying oh yeah i completely forgot about this you get that error message saying 88001003 this is a common common error so there's a way to fix it what you need to do is okay what you can do now Okay, so what you need to do to fix that error is go to Super SU and you need to uninstall this, so you need to delete it completely. Okay, so what you need to do is go to, um, where do we go again? We need to go, there you go, it says clean up, reinstall, click on that, click continue and let it uninstall. So now that's gone completely. Now, if we're lucky, the remote play app should get rid of the error. There you go. So what I'm going to do now is switch to a camera mode so you can see the remote play actually working because for some reason the screen recorder doesn't show the remote play. So I'm going to switch to a camera. So there's a, the remote play app. I'm getting ready to connect it. So there's my PS4 right there. What you need to do now is click next. It's going to start searching for a... Um, actually, you know what? It's going to prompt you to log in to your PSN ID. Yeah, so just log in and it will bring you back to the the app itself so usually I skip this because for some reason it takes a while for it to connect my internet so I just skip that and why what it's going to ask me to do is go to my ps4 go to settings go down to sorry uh, remote play connection settings click on that and it's gonna I have to click on add device and it's gonna give me a number right there so what I'm going to do is enter that number into this. So, so once you've inputted the number, just click register. Like that. And it's actually connected as you can see. So there you go. Click OK. And they give you on-screen controls. that 
So let me just show you how it's working together. So the lag isn't really too bad. My upload speed is like is around 500 kilobytes per second, which is not very fast, and it's doing quite decent. As you can see, let me just zoom out a tiny bit more. Okay, so what I'm going to show you now is how to connect it with the controller. Right now, there's no uh, a um, official way to do this, but this is just the way I figured out. So, as you may have noticed, once I logged in to Remote Play, my um, my controller turned off. So what I can do is just start up again. It's going to prompt me to log in. I could log in with my second account. Click X, and then now I can use my controller. Maybe not. Okay, just need to switch to my account. There you go. This is my second account. Now I can use it. Yeah, I know it's been a bit enough. Oh well. Um, yeah, so I'm using it now. Let's just start FIFA real quick. Right. Just controlling him right now. Oh, as you can see, it's actually working. So let's close that. Okay, so there you have it. That's all you need to do, really. Uh, just one heads up. Every time you do, uh, wait. Let me just turn off the PS4. I don't need that right now. Yeah. Um. Every time you reboot the system, so every time you turn off the system, this is one tedious thing. You just have to go back into the remember the APK that that we installed. You just have to go back into it. So say if I reboot it right now, the app won't work. So I'll have to go back into the APK app, go apps, and then I need to install it again, and then it should work fine. So there you have it. That's all you need to know. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, please leave a like. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And don't forget to subscribe. See you guys.